Can an ordinary you, citizen, yeah. like for example, uh, Tony Larry Gadona said that he is going to block uh, the broadcast of ABS even after the franchise expires. Can an ordinary, can an ordinary citizen or viewer uh, go to court and question uh, he, he a provisional authority? Court. He can go to court because they were. Uh, were a regime of the rule of law, the rule of law. So he goes to court and gets an injunction uh, against the continued operation of uh, ABS-CBN. In the meantime, unless there is that court order specifically stopping ABS-CBN, the assumption is the interpretation of the political bodies, meaning Congress and the Chief Secretary of Justice, are binding on the National mm -hmm. Telecommunications mm -hmm. Commission. Uh, because the, the Secretary of Justice is the legal counsel of the government. Mm -hmm. His opinion is binding on the entire executive department. On the other hand, Congress is the one which grants the franchise. And if the Congress says uh, the uh, abs even can operate in the meantime, that should be given much weight. I want to, this, the, to make it clear that just because the Supreme Court has said that you cannot operate. It doesn't mean that we should be frozen into inaction because uh, history is replete with instances when jurisprudence changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They might be the demigods of Padre Fora, but they changed their minds. This was 17 years ago. Y yes, that's, that's, that's I, and, and, there are, and the lawyers will tell you, nagbabago din yan. So uh, there is nothing wrong uh, with uh, the franchise continuing to be effective. First, there are presidents uh, in, in Congress. Number two, there's the opinion of the Secretary of Justice. And number three, as I said, uh, we, ca we have to take into account 11,000 jobs. And therefore, it cannot be, uh, uh, the, the issue cannot be decided in a vacuum.